I didn't know about these things, but they don't surprise me at all, and they're endemic to the system anyway. And I, what I find sort of extraordinary is that, you know, this man is at the top of a very particular iceberg, you know. And he's, I don't think you can describe him as a sex addict, he's a predator. But what he's, at, as it were, the top of the ladder of is uh, a system of... Um, harassment and uh, belittling and bullying and interference and what, what my mother would have referred to in the olden days as pestering. Is he pestering you? That's the word we used to use in the olden days, if you recall. This has been part of our world, women's world, since time immemorial. So what we need to start talking about is the crisis in masculinity, the crisis of extreme masculinity, which is this sort of behaviour, and the fact that it is not only okay, but it also is represented by the most powerful man in the world at the moment. So when you describe him as being the tip of the iceberg, mm. do you think there are others like that in your industry in Hollywood? Of course. Many? Many. To that degree? Maybe not to that degree. Do they have to all be as bad as him? To, to, to make it count? You know, is it, does it only count if you really have done it to loads and loads and loads of women, or does it count if you do it to one woman once? I think the latter.